if we combine two objects together then we need to create a right loop structure around that joining part we learned these things in the last video i have given the link of that video in the i button in the modeling language we call it the triple edging method there are different ways of modeling and one of the way i'm going to show you today so here i have added a simple cube and then i have added the center loop cuts at there then just you need to add this kind of supportive loop cuts at there to maintain its form i have added the supportive loop cuts at the initial stage because it will be more easier for me to create that right topology and then shift d to duplicate this object and move it in this way and just give the position in this way so i can get this kind of form when i combine these two objects together now you need to add this kind of loop cuts on that second object because you can see in that corner i need to merge the words properly because when i will use the union operation i need to create the right topology so i need to merge the words so that's why you need to add this kind of loop cuts then you can select both the objects and you can use the boolean operation union and then apply that boolean modifier and then you can go to the edit mode and you can select everything and then merge by distance and increase that merging threshold then you can select these edges with a shift select then you can hit the control b to add the bevel on it you can play with the shape key add there and you need to increase the segment up to 2 and you can adjust the bevel width add there and you will get this kind of triple edge for that joining part then you can select that center edge loop and you can add one more bevel add there and then you can dissolve that edge loop and you can add support to loop cuts in this way just two edges add there then you can hit the control 2 to add the subdi modifier and you will get this kind of smoother looking joining part add there we have created a right loop structure add there for that part and which looks decent if you want more good topology then you can just select these words and you can move them in different axes in this way just to make those edge loops straight perfectly if you want then you can do this otherwise you can keep it as it is so this is the one of the way of the modeling you can see that loop structure which i have got at there i can add more loop cuts at there if you want to support this channel then you can join the membership so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care